No, I don't like what I see. Really? You have perfect teeth, Dr Fish, but the uh, rest of your body, well, I, I think you should be paying a little more attention. Let me show you a chart. This is your body. Um... Uh, yes? Oh. Uh, no, this is your body, Dr Fish. And according to this chart, with your blood pressure, cholesterol level, eating habits and uh, lifestyle, you can expect to live to the age of... 68 years and three months. Give or take a week or two. 68? And three months. <laughs> but that's hardly any time. I, I want to live into my 90s. Well, OK, not 90s, maybe 85, but uh, right. I want to travel. Oh. Paint flowers, hmm. feed pigeons in the park. <sighs> Uh, well, you know, Dr Fish, if you want to make those distant dreams of yours a reality, you've got to make an effort and get in shape. Mm. Well, I've lost ten pounds over the last three weeks just from cutting out sweets. Look, I can slip my hand right down my trousers. Hmm. Hmm. But that's easy for me because I'm uh, more of a savoury man, you see. But uh, the idea of giving up sweet, chocolatey things isn't just disturbing for some people. It's an absolute nightmare. Comfort foods, they're a substitute for the breast, you see. Just think of Mrs Fish. W wouldn't she rather be married to a wafer than a blancmange? Yeah, I see, I'm missing those uh, sweets again. Forgive me. You've just been fed. How can you still be hungry? Stop it, you're so greedy. You've got to eat right and you've got to exercise. I'm not saying you can't enjoy your life. A glass or two of wine a day can be a good thing, for example. Soak that up with a treacle tart or a chocolate eclair now and again. The occasional cigar. A cigar? Oh. Well, maybe not. Uh, thanks, Doctor. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Home. I'll nip back out and get a paper. Ow. Ow. This is going to keep happening, Mrs. Fish, unless you strengthen up those back muscles. Regular exercise. I am sick and tired of telling you. She hates exercise. She won't even walk to the post box. I, I have to take her in the car. She's really lazy. She's got a bicycle in the shed, and it's got this huge cobweb on it. I mean, I actually saw the spider eating this big fly. It was disgusting. Well, Mrs. Fish, you must listen to your husband. He is a wise man. <laughs> I'll, um, show you to the door. Thank you. Bye. How dare you! If that's not the pot calling the kettle black... Hey? You're just as lazy as I am. That's what attracted us to each other in the first place. I just didn't know we were ready to go public about I it. I hardly said anything. You hate sporty people. Look. We could squabble about this all day, but it won't help your back and it won't help me get the weight off. Actually, that's not true. 
You burn up over 2,000 calories in the average argument. Let's put words into action, Margaret. I'll drive us both to the gym. Hey, this is pretty good. And it's not too difficult. I can get used to this. This is just a warm-up, Bobby. I'm going to turn it up a little higher. Just something gentle to start. Now, this is like a comfortable stroll, eh? Imagine you need some milk for your tea, and you're going to the shop to fetch a pint. Now, maybe you have some friends over for tea, and you need to get the milk in a hurry. Well, could, we could just have it with lemon. No, man. Your friends want the tea with milk. They don't like no lemon. They could bring their own milk next time. <laughs> All right, man. Now, you get to the shop, but the shop's closed. And the next one's a long way away. You're going to have to run to get there and back in time. You know, I just take the bus. All right. <sighs> but you still get to run for that bus. It's not a good service, man. So you have to get this one and you'll be very, very late. OK. OK, OK. I'll, I'll, I'll see the bus. I'm running after it. And I've just got on. There's a seat at the back. Can you, can you program this thing for sitting on a bus? <sighs> when I chew. Well, you really shouldn't be eating fatty foods anyway. I thought the doctor told you to cut down. Oh, I need comfort food right now. Could you pass the ketchup, please? <clears throat> I can't reach it. Wait a minute. Thanks. Maybe we should start with something less strenuous. Well, that's squash. Oh, no, it's very high impact. Puts a lot of stress on the arches. Mmm, I don't need more stress. What about badminton? We could play doubles. Uh, that's pretty easy. Uh, and it'd be great for your back. Lots of stretching. We've got no one to play with. I don't know anyone that likes us enough to make that kind of commitment. What about Cathy? Oh, she's a bit bossy. No, 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 no. She's just uh, a bit enthusiastic and very sporty. She could bring her latest boyfriend. It'd be exercise and a social event all in one. Oh, out. Well, OK. I think that's a great idea. I'll give her a call. So, are we all clear on the rules? Wide and short for the serve, and the whole court for the rest of the game. No touching of the net, or the point goes to the other side. Um, isn't it the inside line for the serve? Well, that's how we play. Well, I don't know. Wide seems a bit strange. Well, what do you want to do? Uh, let's play by Cathy's rules this week. All right. No, I'm not. Ooh. Mm. Have another go. What? He got distracted. What do you mean? By him! <laughs> My serve! Isn't it ours? Both partners serve, then it goes over to the other side. We only got one serve. That's because you started. Mm. <gasps> ah. Yes! One love! Excellent. What? 
You were supposed to be playing forward. I was. Mine! <gasps> oh. Woohoo! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you all right, Ken? <laughs> You're hogging the court. I haven't played a single shot. Well, you should have called it. I did. On a roll. Stand aside, I'm a doctor. No, you're not. You're, you're a dentist. Well, he, he might have a broken tooth. <laughs> Are we supposed to go? We plan to spend the evening together. I don't know what the social etiquette is for this sort of thing. Are you two getting in? Okay. Dr. Mons, please Crisps, please. What flavour? Mesquite and jalapeno. Crisp? Miss Beetle? Yes? Ken's condition is rather worrying, I'm afraid. We can't seem to find the cause of his sustained concussion. <laughs> There are no fractures to the cranium and no signs of any cerebral damage. Brain activity seems a little below normal, but then that's a relative thing. So really, we haven't a clue. Right. Well, well OK, we, well, we don't want to be getting under your feet, so, so thank you very much, Doctor. No, 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 no. On the contrary, Mr Baxter needs his closest friends around him. We're not that close, actually. A familiar voice, a favourite song. Constant stimuli. We've only just met. Now, we're a tad busy tonight, but we're going to try and squeeze Ken into the Einstein ward. Matron has kindly brought in her trestle table, which apparently makes a pretty good bed. Crisp? Oh, thank you. Mmm, they're really fresh. Ken? Wake up, Angel. There's love all around you. <laughs> when do you think we can leave? <laughs> she seems so upset. I don't think it's nice to leave her. But he could be like this for years. Shh! <gasps> what tragic irony. That's his favourite. Beans and bacon. <laughs> Kathy, are you all right? I need the loo. OK. <sighs> I want to go home. I'm hungry. Stop being so selfish. Well, I don't think he'll be eating these. Stop it. Why can't you?
you be a bit more patient? I have been patient. We've been here for hours. Mm. You're supposed to help your fellow man in a time of crisis. And anyway, we can't afford to lose Cathy as a friend. We've got no one else to play badminton with. Yeah, but she doesn't even have a partner anymore. Hey, there must be another couple we can find. Shh! He can't hear anything. It's awful playing with those two anyway. They cheat all the time. Well, maybe they weren't cheating. They just play by different rules. Cathy's very particular about going by the book. Yeah, well, she really gets on my nerves. I don't know how Ken can stand her. She can never keep a boyfriend for more than two weeks. And have you noticed, they are always such wimps. Oh, that's not fair. We hardly know Ken. Oh, come on. It's obvious as soon as you look at him. He's just after a big mummy to look after. <sighs> well, I guess I know what you mean. Let's go home. I'll make you a nice supper. Yeah? Can we have macaroni cheese? Only if you're a good boy. Oh, please. Please. OK. <laughs> Bendy knees. Okay. You know, I just weighed myself and I haven't lost a single ounce. In fact, I've put on a bit. A watch kettle never boils. Yeah, I don't want to boil, I want to lose weight. Well, we've only played badminton once and that was only for four and a half minutes. Yeah, it felt like an eternity. And then you came home and you ate two plates of macaroni cheese and that rhubarb crumble that was sitting in the fridge. And then you had some Maybe we should try something less competitive. We could buy an exercise cycle or one of those abdominal thingies they, they sell on TV. No, I really love badminton. We did some great shots. We could have slaughtered those two if Cathy hadn't put Ken in the hospital. Hey, did you see that cheeky little drop shot I did? We'll have to have a rematch. As soon as Ken comes out of his coma. Night, Bob. Good night. Thanks, Debbie. That's just how I like it. Well, you gave us quite a scare there, Ken. We thought we'd have to play singles from now on. I feel terrific. I haven't slept that much since I was a student. I'm such a raging insomniac normally. That's good. And the funny thing is, I can't remember a thing that happened. Cathy explained that I tripped on some shoddy flooring on the court. I've a good mind to sue the management. It'll be an open and shut case. I've got three witnesses. Uh, uh, and I've got some cards. Is anyone up to a game? Oh, what a great idea. Ken's a real card shark. He's the Ballam and Tooting Regional Whist Champion. Oh, stop it, Cathy. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Let's play poker. Ken's half undressed. It should be easy. Poker's an excellent game. It's a battle of wit and nerves. Are you going to be OK with that, Ken? Yes, I'm feeling great. Give me the cards, Cathy. They need a good shuffle. Acey doocey, one-eyed jacks. Are we straight up? Uh, or are you a stud man? Or a stud woman, too. <laughs> Sorry? Cincinnati? Mexican stud? No? OK, we'll play straight draw. Make it easy for you all. What is this acey doocey rubbish? Wild cards, my good woman. Wild cards? Wild cards of babies. I don't play baby games. Oh. Oh, for heaven's sake, give me the cards. If you're going to start with all your silly rules, we'll play a simple game of fish. Dr. Cox, report to child care. Dr. Cox, to child care, please. Kathy! 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 We are not going to play fish. We are going to play poker. Hand me the cards. Sorry, Ken. Your deal. Think nothing of it, my little lady. OK, we're going to play some draw poker here. Ten pin to you. Big tiger beats a little tiger. E the tiger beats a dog. The big dog beats a little dog. Acey doocey, one-eyed jacks. Are we straight up? Or are you a stud man? Wow! Look at this! What? What? Look, I'm actually not putting any more weight on. This is great! Well, you see, that's from cutting out fatty foods, even just for a day. 
and once we get back on that badminton court, the pounds are going to pour off. I'm a new man, Margaret. Maybe I could celebrate by having a teeny weeny bit of ice cream? Sorry, Ken. My fault. Five all. <laughs> Mine! Oh dear, oh dear, dear, dear. I am sick and tired of telling you. <laughs>